हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इस क्लास इज अबाउट न्यूट्रोपीलिया इट इज़ वन ऑफ द हिमोलाइटिक डिसऑर्डर्स मेनली वील सी द रिडक्शन इन नंबर ऑफ द ग्रेनोलोसाइट्स इन द ब्लड सो विल सी द डेफिनेशन हेयर द वर्ड न्यूट्रोपीलिया डोनेट्स रिडक्शन इन द नंबर ऑफ ग्रेनोलोसाइट्स इन पी बी एस पी बी एस इज पेरीफरल ब्लड स्मेयर इट विल बी मेनली लेस इन टू थाउजेंड माइक्रोलीटर then in mild state it will be 1000 to 2000 microliter then in moderate it will be 500 to 1000 microliter and in severe cases that is granulocytosis it will be less than 500 microliter so the mainly the uh, you can say uh, normal count is 1.5 to 80000 microliter this is the normal count of neutrophenia but if it goes below that then it will be counted in the disorder that will be the decrease in count so we'll see the grade you have already seen in definition part and same here this is the grade it is divided according to the reduced numbers so in grade 1 it will be between 2000 to 1500 then in grade 2 it will be 1500 to 1000 in grade grade 3 it will be 1000 to 5000 and in grade 4 it will be less than 500 so this is the grade of neutropenia when uh, it gets decrease in numbers so we'll see the causes what are the causes that causes neutropenia neutropenia in human being so main causes are alcoholism chemotherapy any disease that can damage bone marrow then infections that use neutrophils faster than they can be produced then hiv aids lupus so in this all causes you can see the similarity that they affects the immune system of the human body so whenever there is reduction in immune system of the body so the body is not able to fight against the diseases mainly fever chills sneezing cough so in those cases there is great chance of decrease in neutrophil count so these are the causes that causes neutrophil then we'll see the clinical features if the person is having neutropenia what are the signs and symptoms you are going to notice so we are seeing fever that is 100.4 degree fahrenheit or higher or more than 1 hour or a one time temperature of 101 degree fahrenheit or higher so this is the temperature that is the body of a patient will be hot then chills and sweat so fever will be accompanied by chills and sweats then you can see change in cough or new cough sore throat or new mouth sore then shortness of breath nasal congestion stiff neck burning or pain with urination unusual vaginal discharge or irritation increased urination then redness soreness or swelling in any area including surgical wounds and pots then diarrhea vomiting pain in the abdomen or rectum then new onset of pain changes in skin urination or mental status so these are all the symptoms you'll be seeing when the person's immunity is weak this chills sweats fever these are the you can say onset symptoms when you're going to notice in the patient this is always happening with the patients who have decreased immunity and this decreased immunity leads to decrease in number of granulocytes and which can cause neutropenia then we'll go for the diagnosis what diagnosis you can do or what diagnostic procedures you can do so in that the first and foremost we are doing going to do the history collection in history collection you go you are going to find the patient's family history that whether he is having any family history of neutropenia or not then you will be trying to know about his lifestyle pattern whether he is alcoholic or he works in any industrial area so these all will come will let you to diagnose his condition easily then in physical findings you will be uh, doing physical examination in that you will be trying to know the temperature of the patients then you will be trying you will be seeing the uh, cuff uh, you, uh, you will be seeing patients breath sound if he has having any uh, shortness of breath these all physical changes you will be noticing then in lab investigations we will be doing normal we will be sending his blood for the cvc count to know the number of granulocytes so these are the diagnostic procedures we will be carrying forward then we can go for the treatment there is no main treatment in this just we have to uh, improve the neutrophil count so in that we'll go for the broad spectrum antibiotic the antibiotic is given to reduce the infection in the patient that will help him to regain his immunity then you will go for gcsf a growth factor that stimulates 
production of granulocytes from BM giving following chemotherapy. So this will uh, uh, it will the, the chemotherapy will be given to the patient to help him to have the production of granulocytes will, will which will increase the number of granulocytes in his body. Then withdrawing or trapping dose of drugs then according to his symptoms will be giving him the drugs to have the symptomatic treatment to reduce his pain to reduce the fever to reduce the cough so according to the conditions and need of the patients will be trying to administer him the drugs so these were the treatment we are going to give to the patient with neutrophilia so let's summarize the topic so in today's topic we have seen about the neutropenia neutropenia is nothing but the reduction in the number of granulocytes that is reduce in the numbers of granulocytes in the blood so the normal count of uh, granulocytes in, neut in neutropenia condition will be 1.5 to 80,000 microliters then we have seen a grade it is mainly f uh, having four grades in grade 1 2000 to 1500 uh, millimeter Q will be there then in grade 2 1500 to 1000 millimeter cube in grade 3 1000 to 5000 millimeter cube then in grade 4 it will be less than 500 millimeter cube then in causes you have seen the various causes which decreases the immunity then you have seen the signs and symptoms mainly it will be fever chills sweats and so on then you have seen the diagnostic which is accompanied by history collection physical examination and lab investigation and lab investigation will go for the CBC then you have seen the uh, treatment in treatment we are giving antibiotics to the patient to regain his immunity and remove the infection from his body then we are giving GCSF and chemotherapy to increase the granulocyte counts so that's all for the today's class thank you to all the students